If you have a deadline for a project or just simply need to block out distractions, then let me show you focus mode. When focus mode is enabled, it will hide all the extra UI, so you're left with a clean, minimal space where you can write, brainstorm, and polish your thoughts. Focus mode clears away all the visual noise and lets your creativity flow. It works on full documents, as you can see, and it also works on individual cards, making it perfect for writing blog posts, journaling, or just simply staying in the zone. When you need clarity and peace in your workflow, Focus Mode is your new best friend. Say you have an important meeting that requires a presentation, or for example, a university professor putting together a slideshow for students. With Presentation Mode in Craft, you can instantly turn any document into a clean, elegant slideshow. Each slide is determined by a page break. As you can see, I have many here in my document, Let's create one really quickly with three equal signs, which is a fun little shortcut for a page break. And when you select present, you'll see a smooth transition of full screen focus on your content. Presentation mode is perfect for team meetings, pitches, and shared creative projects. You can use the arrow keys to navigate through the slides. And when you're ready to exit the slideshow, you can simply click on the X in the top right corner, or you can hit the escape button from your keyboard. Version history in Craft makes it easy to keep track of every change in your documents. Located in the Info tab of your right sidebar and select View Backups. As you write and edit in your documents, Craft will automatically save versions in the background, so you can review compare and restore content anytime. In this list, you'll see the number of changes being made in each version and the person that made those changes. When you select one, it'll give you a preview of what that version looked like and you'll have the option to restore it if you'd like. Whether you're collaborating in a team or working solo, it's a powerful way to stay in control of your creative process. You can always go back to exactly where you need to be, all in just a few clicks. Next, let's talk about links. In Craft, pasting a link isn't just functional, it's also fully customizable to your preferences. Whether you're building a project brief, a team resource hub, or an event plan, Craft lets you choose how your links look, feel, and flow. So first, as one of our cleanest options, we have our inline text links. Simply highlight your text, paste or add in your link, and it will flow naturally within your content. This is perfect for notes, briefs, and polished documents where you have links, but without the distraction. If you want your links to stand out more, you can paste links directly into your document and Craft will automatically create a card for you. You can further customize your card with different sizes and explore the different options of how you want your link to be visually displayed in your document. Cards are perfect for resource hubs team wikis, and curated inspiration. If you prefer a simpler look in your document, you can easily turn your visual link into a simple text link. Once you paste your link into your craft document, click on the three dot menu and select turn into a text link. This gives you control over how you want your links displayed in your document. And lastly, our embedded videos. If you have a video link, you can paste the link directly into your document and Craft will automatically embed the video for you. When you click into the embedded video, the video itself will play directly from your Craft document. And you can either choose to leave it as an embedded video style or you can click on the three dot menu and select different sizes for your link. And as a bonus, here are three combined advanced features you can incorporate into your daily use of craft to help structure your day or your workflow. Let's start with our daily notes. And daily notes are great for staying on top of your daily goals, or you can use it simply as a daily journal. There are so many ways you can use daily notes in craft. So let's start with creating one. And from here, I'm using my forward slash command to insert a template I've custom created for my daily notes specifically. 
So I'll write in template and insert from template. Here are the two templates that I've so far created. You'll see other collections here of different templates that are available for every craft user, but let's select my daily notes template. Yes, use this template. Now I've given my daily notes more structure so I can organize my days accordingly.